Welcome back, Polygoners. We currently have a 2-0 lead for Psionic Aftermath. Firezerg showing himself to be a ZVZ expert. We've got yet another ZVZ. This time it's going to be Mech Depot. Do you think that's going to make a difference, Sluggy? Mech Depot, it's a bit of a different map compared to others. The mm -hmm. distance it takes from one place to the opponent's place mm -hmm. is a little bit longer compared to other maps because of the rocks and what's even more special is that the third base is very exposed and quite far away in my prediction i think there will be a repeat of what happened at the previous games with a lot of emphasis on Link Bane. yeah i feel like every game firezerg has been the more defensive player and right. even though i say that even though he did a 12 pool last game because the moment he killed off that hatchery it's like he went pure defense until he regained the drone advantage and could do something right. with his larva advantage. It was kind right. of exemplar play. So when you say there's a longer rush distance here, that seems to play more into his style. But Zode got to choose the map. Zode, I say Zode, he's the Nocturnal Gamers player who is, is going to be playing in the future game. I shouldn't have said that, but it's cool. He got to choose the map. Why the hell would he choose this map knowing Firezerg's style? Well, it seems that even though Firezerg definitely has demonstrated his style, Fire uh, Zod just might want to you know play out to his own strengths. Mm -hmm. If you're a macro-oriented Zerg, you can't just change your style one day, right? So right. that might be what we can see from Zod. So you don't think Zod's going to be like a, a sniper pre-prepared to take out? Fire. In Zerg versus Zerg, there is no cheese. Every build is a valid build. So <laughs> I'm not I sure. got you. Well, you say no cheese, let's hop into this game because we've got some 12 pulls, man. Right. We're on the top right-hand side of Mech Depot. He is Zod. We've already told you about him. He's playing for Nocturnal Gamers in the Purple Chunks. He's Zod! Yeah. yeah. Spawn in the bottom left. It's from Psionic Aftermath, the undefeated Fire Zerg. He is looking at a 3-0 possibly here, man. Okay, so immediately Firezerg started with a 13 uh, pool mm -hmm. uh, with a gas. Unlike him, Zod started with a 12 pool and took no gas. So it was a more economic approach started from Zod. Okay, so we've got the slightly... Zod might be the more defensive player here, is that what you're saying? Right, the Overlords have spotted the Lings on both sides, so both players know that it's no uh, not worth it to hide it anymore. So they're use maneuvering those Lings, trying to gain map control. Uh, unfortunately, Zod mm -hmm. has to pull his Lings right now, and it just seems that Zod is going to lose all his Lings right now. Because speed is done, and that's what you get with 13-12. Yeah, so right now oh, Zod is a huge bad. disadvantage. He, th all these Lings flooding across the map. Does he have enough to defend this? Two spine crawlers. So about knows that he's at a disadvantage. That's why he's making two spine crawlers. Uh, I'm not sure if that was worth it to finish, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, well, we did have a nice little wall off at the ramp. Zer Fire Zerg has Banelings morphing though. That's huge. What Zoe did was a very smart decision. He decided mm -hmm. to skip Ling speed and use that gas to make a Baneling nest and have enough uh, gas to make Banelings. Okay. And he's moving However, one of these spine crawlers down. Yeah, oh, that's uh, that's not so good, but let's see what happens. Oh, uh, does not get a chance to burrow. That was definitely a little bit wasted. Does he choose to put the next spine crawler on the high ground, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, most likely. And these banelings coming in, he's got to be really careful. He's got to create an opening for his own lings, but that allows the other lings to get in there. And... Oh! Zod oh! losing all those lings. Oh my god, oh, that is game that changing is there, Sluggy. I'm afraid this is a GG, and GG it is. I don't even have to ask your analysis on that. What changed it right there? Probably the spine crawler followed by the banelings. Yeah. You know, yeah. actually, because he made two spine crawlers, uh -huh. one loss would be okay, but it was just when those lings all walked into the with banelings. Uh, yeah. Part of the Zerg inside me wheat, let me tell you that. Dude, that was intense. That was a four minute game. Firezerg showing ZVZ to be his expertise. 3-0 right. right now. Sonic Aftermath definitely it's just decimating one the game away from, uh, from the finish of the series for today. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, man, that, that's exactly right. And guys, this is elimination. So Nocturnal Gamers now fighting for their life. All right. 
I did like how Zod mm-hmm. started out, though. He made that initial pool to have enough army to kind of scout around to defend, but mm-hmm. unfortunately, it was just that one mistake that cost him the game. Yeah, man. This is this has been intense, dude. ZVZ, definitely a volatile matchup. Well, we're going to get this next game set up. In the meantime, enjoy this word from our sponsors. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.